So let's play a couple. Uh, I don't know if we can play a couple minutes, but a little. Play a few seconds. You'll get the same vibe. Uh, are you going to the combine? I don't know. Well, wait, wait. Dad, is he going to the combine? No comment. Dad had no comment there. Uh-huh. Pro day? I mean, that's after the combine. Yeah, you're going to do a pro day? <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah. I guess if you want to say yeah, I guess, yeah, well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. You can have a pro day. But I, instead of. That would imply that I was going to play football. Uh, okay. So you're going to have a pro day? <laughs> When's minor, when do you report for the Oakland A's? February 15th. Oh, you knew that. Okay. So you're, you're ready to go to do that. <clears throat> Wait, are you going to spring training? I don't know. Wait, you don't know? <laughs> Dad, is he going to spring training? I have no problem with it. He's being honest. I mean, he shouldn't be doing pro He, shouldn't, have been he shouldn't be there. He, he shouldn't have been doing the interview. There. He shouldn't be there. He shouldn't have been doing the interview. It gives me pause. I might be Doesn't in the minority. It gives me a second of pause. Me pause. 800. Have you seen him play? 636. Mm. That, should, that should be what gives you pause, pause or not. pause because I think he's going to be thinking that all the time. I just get a sense that hold maybe, hold on, hold if on. he plays baseball and he struggles, he's going to Hold on. Football he wasn't struggles. just he pondering that and struggling. He just wasn't going to give an answer. He didn't I understand there's a struggle. that, but I think internally there's a struggle. It is mm. core. I think it's a tough decision He would probably love to play both. They just played he the said uh, that. Deion Sanders thing. The, yeah. does both. I'm sure he would love to play both. I don't know what he's thinking. but And I don't think he knows if he really wants to be a football player or really wants to be a baseball player. The, the entire group is stupid if they didn't think that uh, uh, Dan Patrick was going to ask him those questions. So I he, had to so know he, they're coming. So he should have been prepared for those questions better than he was. He was poorly was. prepared. Yes. He shouldn't have been and there. And I, I blame his dad and Bor, whoever threw him up there. But it gives me, just for me, <laughs> zero pause in draft. That has nothing. What would give me pause would be his tape. That would give me pause. Well, it gives Not me the pause. the fact that he has options. If he was Trevor Lawrence, I would have less of a problem. But the fact that he's 5'9 and wishy-washy, in my mind, as to what he's going to do, it well, would look, give me pause. If he's going yes. to play football... Okay, if he's going to have to, he's obviously going to have a pro day. Probably not going to go to the combine. He's going to have a pro day. They all have pro days. Right. So that question will be answered. Of course. It's just embarrassing that he didn't know what to say when he was, he was asked those questions, which were obvious. But he knows, my guess is he already knows probably what he's going to do. He's just not prepared to tell you. That's all. Well, they should, have, they should have told Dan Patrick that even before the interview. Well, or he shouldn't have done had it. a better yeah. answer. They shouldn't have had him spot. There. They shouldn't have had him. He there. I didn't love his answer. personality. Oh, he's not. He's got zero personality. What I love like, is the way he plays. He could come on and say he could have answered the question. You know what? I'm not going to answer that today. I love football. I love baseball. But he's I love not, competing in both sports. That's not him. He's obviously not that charismatic. He needs some silly media to training. To me, it's just another tick in the qu- – like, he has a ton of question marks. Like, for Redskins fans, I know you want to draft him because he'd be exciting. Mm-hmm. And I totally understand that. Yep. And I think he could be exciting, but there are just so many question marks with him from the size, from the system. To the motivation. Yeah. To whether he – would bounce back they to the other sport. They may be forced to pick him because they're desperate, and if he's there at 15, I think they almost have to pick him. But like you said, there are a lot of so questions. He's pause. not going to be oh, there at 15. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pretty See, sure I'm he's not going to be there at 15. Pause. Gives cakes pause, too. Oh, it gave me no pause. GM cakes would be very <laughs> reluctant. Drabby, you look like you wanted to say something. Chime in. Oh, uh, we're just talking to here, trying to figure Eric out a little bit because – that was a disaster interview, and Eric was out on Tannehill because he didn't know the teams in the AFC East. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you saw in that interview that makes you think that that guy is capable of of leading an, uh, leading the team. Just he what I like saw on the football field. If you're, not even, pre- football if you're field. not even prepared to do an interview, and it's your tenth interview of the day, and you can't answer a question like that, he was he didn't want he can answer it if he wanted to. He didn't want to answer it. His people told him don't answer it. All right, so why didn't you say I'm not going to answer that right now? Dan. He doesn't have a great person to answer. He- I know, I know everyone wants to know, but I haven't come to a decision, and I can't really answer that for you. You know what? And you know what? I'm a big stupid, and I just a, did that right not there. As savvy he's, as not, you. He, he's not as savvy <laughs> as mature as you are, but he's a better football player than you. He's not me as savvy. I, I just tip, I just I want him based on his talent. I don't care about his personality. And uh-huh. I thought Brian Tannehill's talent coming out was marginal. You're talking about a converted receiver played a position for like eight games. 
this he's is not a different. Sla- he's not a slam dunk. Kyle he's not, not a slam dunk. He's a big time boomer bust you, pick, no doubt. Some people Huge are saying it's worth potential. the risk. Be- Be- Huge Eric bust thinks potential. it's worth the risk. Other yes. people don't. Be- I wasn't excited. My team's dead it. in the water. It's a terrible team. It's always going to be terrible. He's a <laughs> shot. It's something exciting. Right. Yeah, but well, that's why I want. You got another RG3 data on, people, on your people, hands, too. <laughs> you of all people, though, that's criticize fine. coaches <laughs> sometimes because of their demeanor and the way that they talk. You <laughs> often interpret this. And with Kyler Murray, you're just giving him a pass. Yeah. Yeah. When Eric has want, something in his mind, he, he, you cannot change it. You can't it. change it. No, but I also it. understand it. it. The kid was put in an awkward spot. A, he's not that charismatic. That's a given. B, you know, he's not, also he's not charismatic. Tom Brady. A lot of guys that aren't charismatic. Now, Tom handles himself better at 41, but I, it, I want the guy based on his talent. It shows me he doesn't plan things out very well, and he also doesn't think on his feet. Okay, <laughs> well, have you watched him true. play football? Do you think he can think on his feet on the football field? It's way different than an interview. Different. I think of, let me tell you something. There are a lot of mush mouths in the NFL. A lot of guys that can't articulate their thoughts that great, and they're amazing football players. That takes him off the board for me, not at all. It didn't look good. Um, I think the the question, right? Of course, it goes way beyond. Like that. I said, if he was Trevor Lawrence, I don't care what he says. Well, Trevor Lawrence would have. I think Trevor Lawrence would have handled that interview better. But I don't know why his dad let him go up there, not knowing what to say when Dan Patrick obviously was going to ask him, "Are you going to play baseball or football?" I mean, they're stupid. They thought they were being cute. They're stupid if they don't, if they didn't know that, that those questions were coming. No, they knew, but they thought they were going to be cute by just smiling and not answering and all that. And I, it just came off. I, I think I, even I, when he had to promote Gatorade and he had a Gatorade bottle there in front of him, so yeah. he was doing the thing. Even that, he was. Really, I didn't hear. How that. many times have we had comedians in here? Comedians and they're duds. <laughs> I mean, guys. I mean, you know, they just. It's, it's too, it's, you well, know, hopefully, personality stinks. What do you hopefully you Murray does uh, does well with silent counts. <laughs> okay. Ah, that. <laughs>